so um you know happened it's sunday again and i forgot again i'm bad maybe at the end i'll give a bit of an explanation why that happened but let's let's just get on with this um we're up through um matthew 11 i'm pretty sure Yeah. Um, yeah, Matthew 11. Messages from John the Baptist. When Jesus had finished introducing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now when G John heard in prison about the deeds of Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John that what you hear and see. The blind will receive their sight and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have good news preached to them. The blessed is the one who is not offended by me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds concerning John. What, what did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man dressed in soft clothing? Behold, these who wear soft clothing are king, uh, in king's houses. What did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is, this is he whom it is written. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. Truly I say to you, those among the born women who are who ha there have has arisen no one greater than John the Baptist, yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violence will take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. He has the ears to hear, let him hear. But it, what I shall compare this generation, it is like children sitting in the marketplaces calling to their playmates. We played flute flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a deg degree, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon, the son of man, came eating and drinking. And they say, Look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, yet wisdom is justified by her deeds. Woe to the unrepented cities. Then he began to... Then he began to denounce the cities where most of these mighty words had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Kofuzan. Woe to you, Bethlehem. Beth I could not pronounce these names. For if the mighty works have done in you have been done to Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more bearable in the day of the judges for Tyre and Sidon than you. For you and you, Capone, have you exult? Will you be exalted in heaven? You have be been brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works done in you will be done in Solemn, then it will be remain until this day. But I tell to you that there is more tolerable in the day of judgment than the land of Solemn than you. I I do not understand those words just read. Uh, anyway, go on. Um, come to me and I will give you rest. At that, Jesus declared, "I thank you, Father, Lord and." Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such is your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So yeah, um, basically that first passage is all about um, how John the Baptist was kind of the guy who died as God. It was like, it basically announced God coming. And a lot of people thought he was the Messiah, but he's not. Um, but John really recognized that he, um, Jesus is the Messiah. Um, and then, yeah kind of talk about how unrepent if you're unrepentant if you know the truth and you do not repent you will be 10 times worse off than someone who know doesn't know the truth and doesn't repent um who does not know the truth to repent like it's not saying that people who know the truth like that, that makes sense um 
and basically it's also saying that when you're with him it's it's easy it's freeing we're actually talking about this in church today um the message um is book in genesis but basically it's talking about how in your darkest times the lord the lord will even in your darkest moments if you reach out to the lord the, the lord is reaching out to you you only have to look for him and you he will be found um in your darkest moments the lord will be lord will be no matter how much wrong you've done as long as you tr keep trying to reach the lord he will be there it's not saying like to follow jesus and to become his disciple and to do good things through him isn't it isn't a burden it isn't learning and writing the bible by rote or following strict rules it's loving like you've first been loved and it Someone who doesn't understand love, it's hard and indescribable to explain. But once you've felt that love, it's impossible not. In my mind, it's impossible not to respond in love by loving everyone else in your life. And if you don't, then I honestly don't. What a terrible person you must be to know the love of God, yet not act, and and yet not act with forgiveness and love and light. Or at least, and, and I don't mean, and I say act with you, because obviously you're going to fail. You're going to fail acting with love and light, but... Like, to not try and do that if, if you've been so loved. To not even try, to know that love and not even try, it, it's incomprehensible to me. One of the reasons I've actually been having trouble. I, I didn't record the other two, I kind of did actually try and record, but I ended up stopping and releasing it, because turns out my sister is planning on killing herself. Well, she's not anymore, but she did make a plan, and luckily she didn't go through with it, and she told someone, and she's going back to therapy and stuff. But I, apparently this has been going on for a year, and I didn't even know this, and I feel bad, and I feel like a terrible older sister. And I, and even only in the last few weeks have I realised that my relationship has deteriorated, and I've been praying over that, I've been in a small group prayer of that, that we may have a really great relationship, and only now am I realising how shit our relationship was, because I didn't even notice. And I feel terrible like an idiot and so i just want prayer so if you can like normally this is like me asking like pray for me please and pray for my sister that she may have healing the same way i had healing through the lord and that our relationship may have healing i know you're probably not going to hear this in audience but that's i pray that please Pray with me over my sister. I know it doesn't seem important, but I don't, I honestly don't know what else to do. I don't know how to. I don't know. Anyway, um, if you want to discuss Matthew in the comments, please do so. And uh, bye. <laughs>